I have an interesting piece of ephemera here. I have a broadside related to William T. Bowman's book, The Mask. It is signed and numbered. The limitation is 150 copies. Uh, never folded. This was always rolled. This paper would not fold well. It's got a little black tie, which has probably never been untied. It's probably always been slid on and slid off. The paper is described to me as parchment, which is not an unfair description. It's not quite what I would call parchment, um, but really it's as good a description as any. Paper is white. It's a bright white paper. Has a look of being handmade. Has rough edges on the long side. Dimensions are 12 and a quarter by 18 and 3 quarter. Has a short passage from the mask. There is at the very top here, you might be able to see it, there's a tiny little hole through the paper there. And it wouldn't surprise me if that has always been there. Whether it's a touch of wear or if it's always been there, I don't know. It's a very thin, very soft paper. Um, wouldn't surprise me if it's always been there. Here is a short bit about the broadside. This limited edition broadside was designed and letterpress printed by Amy E. Redmond at Seattle School of Visual Concepts in celebration of William T. Bowman's author reading at third place books on April 7th, 2010. Copyright 2010, W.T. Bowman, courtesy of Harper Collins. And then down at the bottom corner, it is signed by Bowman and numbered. Limitation is 150 copies. So this was done especially for the reading of third place books. So really interesting ephemera. Um, limited editions, numbered editions of, of Bulma pieces are uh, typically fairly hard to come by or fairly, fairly, fairly expensive. Um, I was really surprised. I did not know about this piece. I'm not really a Bowman guy outside of things he's done related to rising up and rising down. But in my research for that, my knowledge of things Bowman is probably higher than, higher than average. So really, really, uh, I was I was pretty I was pretty happy to uh, to find it and to find that it had a such a low limitation. So an interesting scroll broadsheet on parchment ish paper. Very very interesting piece. So there you go.